case involving the parents who say they were simply taking photos at bath time, the Walmart photo lab worker who saw something different. The parents now taking on Walmart. ABC's Tanya Rivera with the new turn in the case tonight. It was a nightmare. It was unbelievable. For four years, it's been like a bad dream for Lisa and Anthony DeMarie. After the couple left digital photos of their three daughters to be developed at an Arizona Walmart. But the developer was shocked by a handful of the pictures of the young girls. She believed they were pornographic and reported the DeMaries to the Peoria police. One of the photos is the three of the girls laying down on a towel with their arms around each other, and we thought it was so cute. The girls were put in the care of Child Protective Services for over a month, but a medical exam showed no signs of abuse, and a judge ruled the images were not pornographic. Authorities need to prove some sort of sexual intent, and uh, once a judge reviewed the situation, once a psych psychological evaluation, took place, I think everybody agreed that there was no such sexual intent. For a year, Lisa was suspended from her teaching job. The couple sued Walmart, but a Phoenix federal judge sided with Walmart, ruling employees can't be held liable for reporting suspected child pornography. But the DeMaries are now taking their case to a higher court. The family lawyer telling ABC News Walmart was negligent, giving untrained clerks tremendous power over the lives of their customers. What you consider to be the most beautiful, innocent pictures of your children can be perceived as something very perverted. We reached out to Walmart for comment. So far, no response. But Walmart's attorney reportedly argued employees who report suspected child abuse without malice are immune. And David, he says there was no malice in this case.